Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss about the problem Determine the state controllability and observability of the system described by the following equations. So here as we all know, this is our A matrix, this is our B matrix and this is our C matrix. So in the previous problem, we have seen B and C matrices as 3 by 1 matrix, right? So here they are 3 by 2 type. That is the matrix is of 3 by 2 here, right? It has 3 rows and 2 columns. So here we will be getting a bit different answer. But the procedure, everything remains the same, right? So here the first thing is we know that that is x dot here is represented as x bar, right? Both means the same. So it is equal to ax plus bu and y is equal to cx. Based upon these parameters here we are writing our a, b and c matrices. This is your a matrix, this is your b matrix and this is your c matrix here. So this is what written here, right? So now we are proceeding with Kalman's test. So here for Kalman's test, we have to frame a matrix QZ and this QZ will be having B, A, B and A square B. So the first step is A, B. We know A matrix and we know the value of B matrix just multiplying. So when you multiply, you see A is of 3 by 3 matrix and B is of 3 by 2. So finally, the output matrix will be of the type 3 by 2. That is, it will be having 3 rows and 2 columns. You see, 3 rows and two columns right here we are doing a matrix multiplication now the next thing what we need is a square b so a square b can be it can be written as a into a b right so we already have a b so just multiply with that a that's it so here a into a b so this is your a matrix and this is your a b matrix so when you multiply again we will be having an output matrix of the order that is of the form 3 by 2 right so here we have framed we had find out the values of all the matrices b a b as well as a square b so just write it down here so here we are ending up with the final matrix as like this right so in this case again here we have to check the controllability of the system so how to check the controllability we have to take determinant for the matrix right so here the matrix is quite bigger since the rank of a matrix is of 3 by 3 here we are going to select 3 by 3 matrix by ourselves. okay you can select this three okay that is the first three rows and three columns you can select this part as a QC matrix or you can select this part as QC or this part as QC. It depends upon you, right? So, you have to take any three consecutive rows and columns. It should be a 3 by 3 form. That's it. So, here we are taking our 3 by 3 matrix like this. That is the first part is taken here. Again, I say you can take any part. That is, you can take either this part or you can take this part. It depends upon you right so once you have the matrix here just you have to find the determinant so here the value of determinant is equal to 4 therefore here the rank of the matrix is said to be 3 since the determinant value is not equal to 0 the rank of the matrix is 3 right and therefore the system is said to be completely state controllable right next we are checking for observability Right. So, Kalman's test for observability, this Q0 matrix has the following arrangements. First one is CT, next one is AT into CT and the next one is AT whole square into CT. So, C transpose we all know, right? We have to convert the rows into columns that is known as transpose. So, we know the C matrix, just convert the rows into columns and here we are arriving with our C transpose. Similarly, for A transpose, we know what is A matrix. So, just convert rows into columns and again, right here we are having A transpose, right? And next what we need is A transpose into C transpose here. So, just consider this A transpose into C transpose. This is your A transpose. This is your C transpose. And again, you see this is a 
3 by 3 matrix and here it is a 3 by 2 matrix. Right. So, uh, this 3 and 3 cancel each other and finally you will be ending up with a 3 by 2 matrix here. Right. So, no need to explain the matrix multiplication. Right. That is this row gets multiplied with this column gives you the first element and again this row when multiplied with the second column gives you the second element. Similarly for the second row and for the third row also. Right. So after finishing with this then we are proceeding with AT whole square into C transpose. So initially we had find out AT into CT. So just multiply that matrices with the AT matrices here. So, A transpose we already know and A T C T just now we had find out, right. Again when you solve you see this is a 3 by 3 matrix and this is a 3 by 2 matrix. So, final uh, the output matrix will be of 3 by 2 type, right. So, now we had finally calculated the all the required values. So, just substitute it here, right. The first two columns C T, the next two columns A T C T. And here the last two columns are given by AT whole square into CT. So this is your Q0 matrix. The next thing is here we have to again find the determinant of a sub matrix here. So again it is up to you. You can select the values according to your wish. Right. So here we have selected this part. Right. This matrix. So again when you calculate the determinant value, the value is not equal to 0 here. Therefore here the rank of the matrix is equal to 3 and therefore the, the system is said to be completely state observable. Right. So this problem holds the procedure same as we solved the previous problems. The thing is here the B and C matrices are of different types. Right. That they, we are provided with 3 by 1 matrices and here they are of the option 3 by 2 and the other specific thing to be noted is whenever you are calculating the value of Q0 and QC right once you have calculated Q0 and QZ the next step is you have to select the sub matrix from that Q0 and QZ matrix since the rank of A matrix is 3 by 3 here again you have to select a sub matrix of the order 3 by 3 you can select uh, any what to say it's up to you you can select um, any type of matrices either from the beginning or at the end okay or in the middle it's up to you so after calculating after taking the sub matrix you have to find the determinant value if the determinant value is not equal to zero then the system is said to be either state observable or state controllable right so here comes the end of this problem if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section Thank you.